This lesson is about rendering multiple components. We can build collections of components and include them in JSX using curly braces. Let's see how. Inside src component, right click and click new file. We are going to create a component named number list .js. What we're gonna do in this functional component is to define an array of numbers and it's an array let's say one two three four and we are going to render this numbers as a list item in the screen to do that we need to use map function or map method of array I'm going to define list items, but instead of defining a simple ally like this, I'm going to define an arrays of ally. So get rid of it. Use numbers array and use map function. Map function accept number as a parameter and return ally and inside each ally i'm going to render the number so map function loop over this array one two three four and for each item return li1 li2 li3 and li4 the last thing that we need to do is to wrap list item inside a ul return ul and inside ul i'm going to render list item because it's a variable we need to use curly braces let's set the function a name and the name of this function is component name which is number list save it and export it export default number list Great. So what we did in this component is to define numbers array. We have used map function on numbers array to convert each number to li element. And we return that JSX elements inside a UL and we return it as a result of this component. Let's use it go to app.js and get rid of this one which is about previous lesson and use number list this one click on it to import it automatically and close it save and run the project npm start if you already run it just open your web browser at port local has column 3000. Uh -huh. Can you see that? We converted each item to unordered list. Let's right click, click on inspect and go to component. If you don't have this tabs in the developer tools, you need to install React dev tools in the Chrome extension store. Okay, let's check that we have app component as a parent inside that we have numbered list and inside numbered list we have used an array to render one two three four to this format let's check the console here what do we get here it says each child in a list should have a unique key prop keys help react identify which item have changed or added or are removed so key should be given to the elements inside the array to give the element a stable identity let's do that to fix this warning go to numbered list the place that you need to set a key is inside map function inside the function inside map find the first element which is li and as the attribute set key and the value of this key is very important. It should be a unique number. If you check the numbers in this array, they are unique. So I can use number here to make them 
unique. Let's check again to make sure that there is no warning at all. Uh -huh. As you see, we don't have any warning and it just fixed. Here the, there is a question. Let's see we have duplicate number. So we can't use number as a key. Let's see what happens if we have duplicate numbers. Can you see this? It says encounter two child with the same key two. So we need to fix this. In this situation, the best way to get rid of it is to set the second parameter for map function, which is the index of array. It starts from 0 to 1, 2, and etc. Instead of key as a number, I'm using index as a key. Save it to format your code and let's check the result. Refresh. Uh -huh. There is no warning and the data in the screen is the array that we have here. But it's not a good practice at all. Try to have a unique ID in the array and use that unique ID instead of index because in terms of performance, it's not efficient. We can make this component simpler by moving map function inside the JSX. So instead of having list element as a variable, I can move this whole expression, cut it from here, and replace it with the list item here, and get rid of list item at all. Save your file, and here is the new result. We just moved the map function on numbers to the JSX directly. It makes your code simpler and easy to read. Save and check the result to make sure that it works. Great. For the numbered list here, we can use props as a source of array. Instead of defining a static array here, we can use props. So props dot numbers and cut it from here so this component render any list of items for us let's go to the app.js and define a variable here const numbers and it can be any numbers that we like and then pass numbers like this numbers let's check the results uh-huh you see it renders numbers like this for us also we can pass a string too and let's see what we have uh-huh it renders numbers and strings for us by having unique numbers, we can go to numbered list and instead of using index, we can use number. Let's get rid of index here. And inside the app.js, I'm going to duplicate numbers array and make it numbers two and have some changes in the values only for this one and this one. But still we have same values in two arrays if i duplicate numbered list and use numbers two let's see what we have we are going to render this array and this array and convert them to numbered list uh-huh here we have two lists but some values are same like 56. if i refresh i will not get any warning at all because keys must be unique among siblings, not globally. In this list, there is no duplicate numbers. And in this list, there is no duplicate numbers. So having du duplicate value between two lists is not a warning or is not an issue for React. As a last part of this lesson, we can render arrays of objects as well as arrays of numbers or a string. Let's define to do's 
and it has an ID, let's say one, a name, and is done is false. Let's define another one, ID two, name walking, and is done is true. Put opening bracket for this object and save it okay here i have to do's it's an arrays of objects i'm going to render to do's i can directly render it here by creating a query braces enter array name and use map function for each to do item inside to do's i'm going to render an li and inside li create a query bracket and enter to do dot name also we can create a dash and if it's done just enter done i check to do dot is done and if it's true render done otherwise render nothing that's it and we need to wrap li's inside a ul create a parent ul and move to do's inside that ul let's check the result refresh it uh -huh. coding and walking we are getting this message a child in a list should have a unique key let's fix it for the element right after map which is li define key and what would be the value for the key? If you check the to do's, we have ID that are unique. So we need to type to do dot ID. That's the correct way of defining keys for items in the map function. Let's check the result to make sure that there is no error at all. Great. So I have coding and I have walking, which is done. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, which is about forms. Bye-bye.